The best part of the Olympics are the inspiring stories of athletes chasing their dreams, battling adversity, and overcoming the odds. Here are 10 female American Olympians whose stories are already inspirational and will have fans chanting USA while tuning into Paris. Although Simone Biles is the face of U.S. gymnastics now, the sport has not always been a beacon of diversity. Since Lucy Collins became the first black woman to make the U.S. team at the Olympics in 1980, only two other black women had represented Team USA before 2007, when Jordan Childs first began gymnastics at six years old. At her Washington gym, there was only one other black athlete. A lot has changed since, and at Worlds in 2022, a year after Childs and Biles won a Team Silver in Tokyo, Childs, Connor McLean, and Shailish Jones became the first all-black podium in U.S. gymnastics championship history. Still, Jordan makes sure her culture is represented in the sport. While competing for UCLA in 2023, she used an old-school hip-hop medley featuring Let Me Clear My Throat and Shoop for her floor routine at the NCAA Women's Gymnastics Championships. It earned a perfect 10. At the U.S. Championships in May, the 23-year-old wore a bedazzled leotard she designed after being inspired by Beyonce's Renaissance Tour. Childs, who will join Biles, Suni Lee, Jade Carey, and 16-year-old newcomer Hesley Rivera in Paris, works with the nonprofit Brown Girls Do Gymnastics, which gives access to gymnastics for people of color. Alona Maher will make her second Olympic appearance as a star on the rugby team. In Tokyo, the team finished sixth, but Maher won something else legions of social media followers who love her comedic body positivity content. Maher hails from Burlington, Vermont, where she played field hockey, basketball, and soccer growing up. Although her father played rugby at St. Michael's College, she waited until 17 to start. Alona has since become the face of the often violent sport since winning National Player of the Year in 2017 while at Quinnipiac University. The U.S. Women's Seven squad qualified for the Olympics at the 2023 World Rugby Seven Series in Hong Kong, where they earned a bronze medal, but that was without Maher. She broke her ankle in March of 2023 and missed significant time on the pitch, so her Paris run will be the comeback story, at least on TikTok. The U.S. rugby team is coached by Emily Bidewell, who is the only female head coach on the World Rugby 7 Series circuit. America has not medaled in rugby since winning back-to-back -back golds in 1920 and 1924. Sprinter Aaliyah Hobbs won silver in the 4x100 meter relay in Tokyo and will compete in the same event in Paris. Hobbs has been dominating on the track as of late, although she was forced to pull out last minute of the 60-meter final at the World's Indoor Championship in March, tearfully exiting in a wheelchair with horrible cramping. Aaliyah has also been busy off the track as she recently adopted a child in her home city of New Orleans. Now named Amir, the boy was delivered two months ahead of schedule and left at the hospital on June 15, 2020. Hobbs got the call about adopting him the next day, and it was a quick yes. The 28-year-old LSU alum is coming off a fifth place finish at the U.S. Olympic track and field finals. Jennifer Lozano grew up in the border town of Lorado, Texas, watching Mexican boxer Jackie Nava fights on Saturday nights with her grandmother. So when she started getting bullied for being overweight and speaking Spanish, Lozano's instinct was to fight back. At age nine, she started boxing at a gym and earned the nickname La Travesa, or the troublemaker from none other than her grandmother. Jennifer, now 21, qualified for the Olympics by winning silver at the Pan American Games in Santiago in 2023, becoming the first Olympian ever from Lorado. In the Olympics, there are two sports where women and men compete together, sailing and equestrian. Laura Kraut is the only woman competing on America's equestrian team. She's also the oldest athlete on Team USA across all sports at 58. She's the oldest American to compete in the game since 1952 and has 10 years on the second oldest member of the equestrian team. Kraut has been riding since she was three and was an alternate for the Barcelona Games in 1992. She debuted in Sydney eight years later and was part of the gold medal winning U.S. team at the Beijing Olympics in 2018. The U.S. won silver in Tokyo where Kraut rode Ballet to New, a 2010 Hanoverian she will also mount in Paris. Laura splits time between Florida and Great Britain with her longtime partner, two-time gold medalist British show jumper Nick Skelton. When Ruby Lilly was around 10 years old, she was a ballerina and competing in ballroom dancing, 
when she started paying more attention to her older brothers on their skateboards. In Ocean City, Maryland, where Ruby's large family raised rabbits and other animals on a farm, there was only one girl who skateboarded, but that did not stop her from becoming the second. Lily has since moved to Oceanside in California, and at just 17, she qualified for the Olympics in Paris. Ruby won a silver medal at the 2023 X Games in Japan. She competes in both vert and park events, although only the latter is part of the Olympics. In Tokyo, Kelly Chang and Sarah Hughes became the youngest duo to ever represent Team USA in beach volleyball. The two finished ninth and Chang started struggling with her mental health. She began seeing a sports psychologist to work on her negative self-talk and has since changed her mental approach to competing. Chang now works to pass along the importance of mental health care to the volleyball community and launched her beach mentorship camp. In October of 2023, Chang and Hughes won America's first World Volleyball Championship since 2009, and they are seeking to capture the U.S.'s fifth gold medal in beach volleyball in the past six Olympics. When COVID delayed the 2020 Olympics and created challenges for training for most sports, Lee Kiefer built a fencing strip in her parents' basement. Fortunately, the three-time Olympian did not have to look far for sparring partners. Her husband, Garrick Meinhardt, whom she met while fencing at Notre Dame, is also an Olympic fencer. And Lee's father, Steve Kiefer, captained the Duke University fencing team. And her younger brother, Axel, and older sister, Alex, also both compete. The training paid off as Kiefer became only the second U.S. woman to win gold in fencing when the Tokyo Olympics were held in 2021. The Lexington, Kentucky native who began fencing at age five enrolled in medical school at the University of Kentucky before the pandemic. The 29-year-old took a break to focus on defending her gold in Paris, but will return. In 2023, swimmer Erica Connolly suffered a herniated disc in her back and could barely walk. Returning to the Olympics, where she medaled twice in Tokyo on relays, would be an ardent task. The 25-year-old from Modesto, California, worked her way back from injury and earned an invitation to the U.S. Olympic team trials. Who would have guessed that would be the easy part? In Indianapolis, she started at 15th in the initial heats and shaved off time each round, but also found herself tied twice, an unlikely situation that meant two extra swim-offs. So Connolly swam the 100 meters five times in two days, the final time finishing 0.04 seconds ahead of her training partner, Katie Deleuze. In the end, Erica earned a spot on the 4x100 meter freestyle relay team in Paris. Hammer thrower Annette Echekunwoke has qualified for the Olympics for the second time, but Paris will mark her game's debut. The 27-year-old was born in Ohio, but her parents are both from Nigeria, and she qualified to represent her family's home nation in 2020. However, Echekunwoke was among a group of Nigerian athletes disqualified for missing doping screenings due to an administrative error. She got the devastating news in Tokyo on July 29th, her birthday. Three years later, Annette earned her first U.S. title at the 2024 Olympic Track and Field Trials and will represent Team USA in Paris. At the trials in Eugene, Oregon, Echekunwoke's first throw of 240 feet held up through all six heats. 